Maps, maps, maps! It might be the last time you hear me say that for a while, because sadly our conference is coming to an end. But I've got a lot of announcements to make, and we've got a lot of people to thank, um, also through the awards. That's one way we thank our community. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed the conference. It's been very packed. We've heard lots of things about data validation, data kind of types and how we might change it or if we're going to turn off the map. And we've heard lots about the community and different countries. And I'm trying to sum up all the talks, the workshops, the discussion groups. But really, I'm not going to be able to summarize all the topics I've had. Um, but we've seen some great maps as well. Um, so I have an, there's an announcement for weekly OpenStreetMap and I believe I have someone to come up and tell us a new language that they are launching now. Thank you, thank you. Um, yes, so uh, we're going to be launching uh, a new language on weekly OSM and that is Swahili. So, so this is a language that is spoken by over 80 million people in Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, DRC, Rwanda, Burundi. So we're going to be reaching out with news on OSM to all of these people. So thank you so much. Brilliant. So even more people are going to be able to understand and read what's happening um, with, with OpenStreetMap. So you'll be able to see that on the website soon, I'm sure. Um, I want to again thank you all our sponsors. Um, they really do help with bringing financing enough uh, money for scholars to come, people who wouldn't be able to make it without the financial support. And they, they, you know, the conference takes a lot of voluntary time, but also cost with venue and catering. So can we have a round of applause for all our sponsors here? <laughs> And um, this year's conference was arranged um, in part by the OpenStreetMap um, Foundation and the local chapter, which is part of Wikimedia Italia. Um, local chapters are great for the foundation for running stuff locally and organization. Um, we have a welcome to a new local chapter, which I think they're going to come up and um, some of the directors of the foundation board, if you'd like to come up, where's the, uh, the Belgium chapter? <laughs> and would you, do you want to do it in front of a banner? So don't have me, because I'm only involved in the conference, but... Uh, Martin is part of the foundation, and uh, are, are we going to let them be a local chapter? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's already decided, Gregory. Brilliant. <laughs> well, that's good. So, uh, so we do use some, I think, shaking hands is the, uh, <laughs> it's kind of, I think, I think a shake hands, a shake hands, and, and I think Michael's taking a photo for us. And then there's the formalities. <laughs> so we're uh, we're welcoming um, OpenStreetMap Belgium, and um, being a local chapter is really important to the foundation and also to 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 the local groups um, themselves for 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 boring reasons and interesting reasons. And I think one of the most interesting reasons is to really kind of as assert your your alliance with OpenStreetMap Foundation, and also, um, yeah, to to kind of be part of that, be part of the the growing kind of network of local groups that that um, that that form form OpenStreetMap worldwide. So I'm really excited to welcome yet another local chapter, and I'm hoping to welcome a lot more in, to, in still this year. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.
and if you want your community to to sort of formalize and become a local chapter of the foundation um catch martin later before he he flies back home um but also the the foundation um web it has a lot of information on local chapters and how you can become one, doesn't it? There, there's even a FAQ on there, frequently asked questions. Brilliant. Um, so I'm now going to get more people onto the stage, quite a lot of them. Um, I want to say thank you to our volunteers. Um, these guys in red T-shirts, come up. Brilliant. Thank, thank you, guys. It really does take a lot of time. So also make sure if you see them um, as you're leaving, say thank you to them individually because they put a lot of effort in um, for several months now and it, it builds up as it gets closer. It's more and more work. Um, and also, you know, there's been running around. There's been lots of messages so you know what's happening. Um, sometimes we got it wrong and we had to correct you and make sure you had the correct information. Um, they've yeah it, it's great i mean we really worry when we run a conference i know how much the volunteers are important to help you out um i turned up on friday morning to to see the venue for the first time they had assured me it was a good venue um and i came here i moved the table about two meters and then they said no no someone else will do this you go and see uh see milan see some of milan so i helped them a bit longer but then i I could see they're a great team and they've been wonderful. Um, it's not just the volunteers we've had here. If you turn to your booklet, if you've still got it, um, on page 21, and then we ran out of space, so on page 22, there's also a lot of people, a lot of names that help make this happen. Um, some of those people can't even make it to the conference, either, either they couldn't at the beginning but still wanted to help, or um or they would really like to be here but uh things happened and they couldn't make it um and i can't possibly mention them all because because it will take a lot of time and i'll forget someone but but read through that and you get an idea of the uh the work it takes so we're very grateful to all those people So there's been a poster competition this year, um, and that was one way that um, some people could participate, whether they were here or not, by submitting a poster, um, by showing off some nice maps. I hope you all went and saw them, and I th hope you used your blue dots to, to do the voting there. Um, I was amazed, such variance in what they were talking about, what they were showing, and how they did that. Um, so we did this just for fun. Um, if you had one of those posters afterwards, you can go and collect it and take it home. Um, but um, I'm sure we, we, we did the, the voting for a bit of fun to, to see which one we liked. Um, in third place with 88 votes, Crow to Map. And just a bit, just a few more votes, that was very close, um, with 90 votes was Hiking Trails Map of Monte Pisani. <laughs> and, and that means that the, uh, the winner got even more stickers, was even more appreciated. I really like the colors there and trying to work out um, which of the maps I, I recognized. Um, and that was 100 votes, interchange choreography. <laughs> S 
so um yeah so they're exciting posters if you didn't get a chance to see them go go down the corridor and uh and take a look before those people take their posters home um so there's a question how did we get here after all how did we end up in milan well in it started back in march 2017 i mean the conference has been going for a while but in march 2017 um us as a, a state of the map organizing committee opened up the call for bids. Um, you can go and look at the open street map wiki and we've got lots of information about what we ask for. It's an open bid so um, any community can kind of submit the bid, get together, plan. Um, you can email um, the, the team in advance of March and ask us questions or we really like to hear if you're if you're thinking of bidding because it means we can encourage you and help you out and help you know what you might have to think about um, hopefully if if you're wanting to do that you've been looking at some of the organization here of how many volunteers it takes um, it's also really good if you if you you know don't don't wait um, for the bid process you, um, to don't wait to be the international state of the map you can also run kind of your regional conference or your national one um, even just making sure you you run some uh, an event for your city can really help you get the experience and build up to that um, we're privileged that lots of state of the maps happen around the world um, for continents for regions or for uh, for countries um, and and we'd love to hear about that um, so but but there was a, a bid process for next year I'm sure you're all many of you have asked where we're going um, so that's kind of the where next um, from March we had a uh, we had five bids um, so we had Tunisia um, Heidelberg Cameroon Nigeria the Gambia all bid this meant that we had lots of discussion. Um, our small kind of committee had to keep discussing and well, this is a good point, this is a good point, that team maybe need to be a bit stronger in this area. We went back and forth with a few questions um, and and it, we, were, we were really privileged to have these bids. Um, <laughs> there's some faces that are just saying, Greg, get on with it, <laughs> um, aren't they? Um, so, I mean that slide doesn't help. What I'm going to do is I'm, <laughs> I'm 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 going to play a video, and as soon as the video plays, I've asked some people to come up and announce it for me. But as soon as you figure out where the conference is going to be next year, why don't you clap along? So when I play the video, if those people could come up, please. There's no sound, but hopefully those people that I said. Tidalberg. <laughs> so this is this is the team from Heidelberg, or um, or some of the team. And I'm going to keep that playing. Um, I don't know if we'll be in that hotel. Maybe you will. I I don't think I will. Um, but I'm. Uh, so it's going to be the Heidelberg's in Germany. Is that correct? That's right. And um, and it's has has Germany ever hosted the International State of the Map Conference? It has not. It has not. So it's going to be the first time there. Um, there's been one question I think related to um, to this year. Um, and I think Melanie might answer this one because you made some promises. Um, are there going to be some more? Are there going to be more or less mosquitoes in Heidelberg? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely less. Yes. Less mosquitoes. So you'll all be coming. <laughs> and she even promised me good weather but um, maybe you won't keep. To that. I don't know what we we'll see. Yeah, we're planning a uh, moon eclipse. Cool. <laughs> and I, I don't know if we've um, gone past it in the video, but at one point in this video it talks about um, Heidelberg's known for its academic excellence. Um, in OpenStreetMap it's also known for its academic um, kind of activity and excellence. So, um, so is, are any of you involved in the university there? All of us. All of you are oh, brilliant. Yes. So, 
so we had, for the first time this year, we had an academic track. I think, could that be something we might see again? Definitely, yeah. Definitely, brilliant. Yeah. Um, and so this is organised as well. Um, there's a local chapter of Open Street Map Germany. Um, they've, I think, hosted some national kind of Open Street Map conferences along with Phosphor G. So it's, you know, they've, there's some experience there. There's, it's not just you guys. Have you got some other people as well? Um, yeah, we got quite a couple of people. Yeah, that's basically part of our, our local organizing team. But I think we have more in Heidelberg at the moment sitting in our meeting room and <laughs> watching this. Brilliant, brilliant. So, <laughs> so we yeah. look forward to meeting them. And it yeah. was also, you actually bid to be this year and it was really <laughs> tough whether we went to Heidelberg or Milan so I'm glad you bid again and you just made it this for 2019 we're going to be in Heidelberg um, which looks beautiful it's it's romantic city as well yeah yeah it's uh, so it's uh, <laughs> the movies actually what uh, Heidelberg is like so sometimes people say it's you know this little snow globes ah, so it's yes. a little bit like yeah you it's will like, like understand that <laughs> when you're in Heidelberg yeah it's a beautiful town so make sure to spend some time there also to meet the team because I think yeah they all all of them wanted to be here so we have more colleagues in Heidelberg that wanted to get involved as well and that they're looking forward to meeting you as well Sure. Brilliant, thank you, and we look forward to coming. So the date's up there in September. And save, save the date, it's from 23rd to 23rd of September. Cool, brilliant. So you can put that in your diaries now. If you need to, you can tell your boss, your wife, your cat that you really have to go away in September. Um, you don't want to miss it, of course, you know that. If you're watching on YouTube, you've got a chance to make the effort to come there. Um, the organising team um, for State of the Map are a bit tired, I know I am. So we've got a bit of work to do putting the videos online and the slides, um, and then we'll have a rest and sleep. More details will come probably early... I put the wrong year there, we're already in 2018. They'll come in early uh, 2019, but if you go to the State of the Map website, you can subscribe to the newsletter if you're not already. You can get the updates as soon as tickets are available and things like that. So thank you to our guys from Heidelberg. Thank you, we'll see you next year. Brilliant. Um, so hopefully everyone's written that date in the diary. Um, and now we're going to do a bit of a slide change. Um, because we want to thank more people from the OpenStreetMap community. And how we do that is, um, is by kind of, um, by, by running some awards that thankfully Ilya helps with. Um, and some people have been voting online on those. Um, so we'll change over the slides in a minute and I'll welcome Ilya up. Well, Gregory changed slides. Uh, I just to want to say a couple of words. Uh, in the past four days, I talked with awful lot of people, and I learned uh, and uh, knew a lot uh, on uh, multiple various topics like vector tiles, machine learning, diversity in OSM, public transport, uh, whatever. But the big picture I got out of it was not about topics but uh, about opposite map in general. Like, imagine, not right now, but in a week, there are people in South America planning to go into slums to map dangerous regions of city. Uh, then people in Mexico uh, calling the government to use opposite map more. People in the United States uh, looking at uh, their tiger into import with disappointment and uh, people in the uh, United Kingdom, our admins who look after our service, servers, uh, uh, fight some uh, another issue, and uh, people in Germany preparing for a state of the map and inventing some weird tagging schema, and uh, pe people in uh, Russian Siberia uh, sailing on the cold rivers and improving the map alongside, and people in uh, People in Nepal uh, uh, go into another city to map it so it's uh, protect protected from disaster. And uh, in Africa, they gather 
uh, learning groups to know about more about OpenStreetMap to teach and to prepare their cities for anything that may come. And I in Japan, how they try to apply uh, European central tagging schemas to their uh, real cities. And uh, M Microsoft uh, Maps team calling their employees in Australia, asking them to validate something they imported. So this is, OpenStreetMap is not just a project, it's like uh, the space station. <laughs> so, and I want to thank you, not only for coming here from uh, a gr great number of uh, different countries, but for devoting a substantial part of your lives to Im improving the map. This is very valuable and it's rather uh, unusual that uh, it, it still happens, that the project is still alive and that uh, so many people are willing to improve the open map. Okay. Right, and uh, by means of thanking, we have some kind of a tradition, I may say. So, opposite map awards. Uh, we, uh, well, you, the community, have submitted a lot of nominees uh, who you want to thank, thank for their work. And uh, then uh, the team of volunteers selected a shortlist. And for the past month, a lot of people uh, have been voting who, who was, uh, who brought uh, um, <laughs> a lot to the project. So uh, almost half a thousand people have voted and they have chosen uh, nine people or project, uh, projects among uh, 33, I think. So let's uh, see who, who was chosen. Uh, maybe somebody else wants to announce nominees? Marco? <laughs> no? Yeah. And there's okay. okay, so for core system awards, for outstanding contributions to any of the core tools, systems, processes, or resources, not limited to systems under OSMF control. The Rails port, OSM to PGSQL, OpenStreetMap Carto, ID, JOSM, Mapnik, and any other tool that mappers use on a daily basis, knowingly or not, are eligible. So, the nominees. Andy Allen for finishing the year-long work on the moderation feature for the OSM website. Sarah Hoffman for constant improvements to Nominatim search engine. Matisse Melissen for making our map style more readable. And Simon Poole for bringing many useful features from desktop editors to mobile with his Vespucci editor. And the winner is, and the winner is, Sarah Hoffman. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'd actually like to uh, take this opportunity to remind you that our development team is very small and there's a lot of opportunity to further develop the geocoding. So we are only two people basically at the moment and I'd also like to mark Matthias Metten. I think he's not here anymore. And, but if you want to stand here one day, so we have lots of work to do, lots of things to improve and please talk to me if you want to program also a little bit and help out. Um, now for the innovation award. Uh, I'm sorry if I will read in a bad way. <laughs> so. 
for the Innovation Award for the best new service or approach, new tools for contributing data, data, image recognition, trace or OSM data analysis, new mapping approach or new perspective on all tools. Um, I think the nominees. <laughs> okay, so one is Wikimedia Foundation collaboration team for improving the mapping stack in Wikimedia project using the OSM data. Then Telenav for open sourcing their traffic sign detection code for the metrics portal. Then oh, what is where for an alternative way to query OpenStreetMap that is accessible to non-technical users. And then OpenStreetMap for, for linking OSM with many open data sets to create the best tourist map of Russia. Okay, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Oh wow, so, and the winner is the Wikimedia Foundation Collaboration Team. <laughs> Is there someone? So, is there any, anybody from Wikimedia? Uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, I will find you. <laughs> okay, um, so. the next one. <laughs> okay, so, come on, come on, someone. Come on. You, come next. On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not anymore in Wikimedia <laughs> Italia's board, but I used to be, so on behalf of Wikipedia, thank you. <laughs> wait, I, wait. It's going to do the next... Uh, okay, but it's not the... Okay. I didn't understand anything. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is in the Influential Writing Award for the best tutorial, documentation, blog, or a blog post, a text, or a series of texts that attracted many new people to OSM, provided an interesting outlook on the project, or inspired the community to do better things. And the nominees are... Mark Jemis for keeping up Mapper of the Month and Mapper in the Spotlight for several years. Serge Wroclawski for the article OSM is, is in serious trouble. Anony Maps, you know what you did. <laughs> and Christoph Orman for his blog full of, of opinions on mapping, uh, the satellite image and politics in OSM. And the winner is Christoph Orman. I think they want you to come here. Come here and take a photo here. Come, take a photo in front of the beach. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all for voting for me. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Thank you all for voting for me or not voting for me. Thanks for the award. Who else? What? Oh, okay. Do, do, do you want to? Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. 
Okay, okay. No, is no, no, no. which one? Oh, it's, it's all messed up. Okay, it's a bit messy. <laughs> and now, let's see. For the greatness in mapping a word, for significant contribution to the map data or exemplary mapping, micromapping, cleanup, mapping towns from scratch, and proper imports. And now the nominees. And now, <laughs> Kat Patuka, I hope that I read it properly, otherwise I'm sorry, for being the most active editor on OpenStreetMap. Then we have Di Gerveno for extensive mapping he has done in Tehuesca and the Pyrenees area. Teshedi for mapping Ireland in all the ways possible. And then we have Zors, 1843. <laughs> for mapping the Belgium road network since the beginning. And the award for the greatness in mapping award 2018 goes to... And... Ah, Tishedim, Mazzeliso, today. I'm not CD, um, I'm going to collect uh, the, her award because she couldn't be here. She, had to, she has to finish her thesis. Um, <laughs> um, but she's really, I think she's really humbled to get, uh, humbled to get this uh, award. Um, in fact, she was really surprised to be nominated. But we as the hashtag map Lisutu community, we knew she deserved it. And as well as the OSM Africa. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, who wants to do another one? Come on. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, expanding the community award for efforts in expanding the community award, not only geographically but also in diversity, into humanitarian sector or government. And the nominees are Christian Carr for organizing many events for open street map developers and mappers, Andrew Bray for driving positive evolution for missing maps, Roy McCann for constantly trying to make the community more diverse, and Sepe Santans for using OSM for the benefit of GAN citizens. And the winner is Kristen Carr. Thank you for your vote. I'm ha I'm happy about it. Okay, so next prize is Improving in Latin American Award for building the community and improving the map in South and Central Americas from Mexico to Chile and Argentina. OpenStreetMap Mexico for bringing, oh, sorry. 
<laughs> the nominees are OpenStreetMap Mexico for, bring, for bringing out maps in, to the academy and conducing mapathons. Then Luis Miguel Sanchez Zuc for empowering communities in Colombia through mapping. And last but not least, Natalia and Saivera Ruda for conducting the Youth Mappers chapter in Colombia. So. <laughs> And the winner is Natalia de Silveira Roda. Stage is yours. Congratulations. Thank you to all. Um, I'm here representing a lot of people not just me uh, and I'm very happy and thankful with all the opportunities that I have been since I started working with OpenStreetMap, HOT and Info Mappers. Thank you. Hey Lorenzo. So, next. Oh, great. Okay, next is for improving the Africa world, for building the community and improving the math in Africa communities, countries, sorry. The, um, the nominees are Crow to Map Tanzania for putting the rural Tanzania on the map, so, Samalia Aliso and Osman Niger for growing the community in Niger, this is quite strong, <laughs> Shebi for mapping lessons and improving the future of our, of our country. So, the winner is... Crown to Map Tanzania. Thank you very much to everyone that's helped in this project and everyone that may help in the future. Thank you. Right, we've got two more categories. Hello. <laughs> improving the Asia Award for building the community and improving the map in Asian countries from Arabian Peninsula to Japan and Indonesia. Okay. The nominees are State of the Map Asia 2017 organizing team for gathering nearly 200 mapping enthusiasts in Nepal. Then we have Indigo MC for being a long time contributor to India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and their neighboring countries. And finally, Eugene Alvin Wilder for organizing mapping parties, conducting workshop, and giving presentation in Philippines since 2009. And the winner is State of the Map 2017 organized Asia organizing team. Hello. Uh, yeah, thank you for the award, and I am only representing <coughs> uh, the team who put uh, lots of effort into organizing the program 
uh, last year. So shout out to a few of the people here. Uh, Sajad, Taisi san, <laughs> Ian, Hi. and uh, lots more people who are uh, uh, <coughs> back in Nepal and Asia. Thanks. And now we're down to the last one. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is big. So oh. if you might want to read uh, just, I don't know, you, you can read all, everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the last category we came up with uh, uh, 2012, that was the year of Müller was killed. He joined OpenStreetMap in 2007, when there was a handful of members. Ulf was a mapper known for his smile and his help of demo. In 2009, he was elected to the Hosmo Foundation board member, and he is known by his work on the licensed working group. To celebrate the memory of Hulf, we decided to hold the Hulm Müller Memory Award each year. The award is intended to recognize an individual each year who improve OpenStreetMap through good mapping, benefit to the community and, and the other improvement to the OpenStreetMap project. Um, so, uh, the nominees are Russell Deffer for leading the humanitarian OSM activity gr working group, Ralph Hinton for training many mappers and the validator in the United Kingdom, Richard Fairhaf for the developer of Potlat 1 and 2, without which OSM, as we know it today, will be likely not to exist and uh, Simon Spool uh, for developing Vespucci Editor and br bring a voice uh, of the lic licensing working group. And the winner is Richard Fervor. <laughs> I, I think Richard's gone already, but um, I think, but you know, he's, he's run away before we all mock him because we have a good laugh with Richard, but he does put in and he has put in a lot of work. Um, sorry? Someone probably has Richard's badge because there's a joke that it always gets passed around, so nobody quite knows. Oh, I think I have found Richard Fairhurst. <laughs> Richard Fairhurst looks different every year. So, thank you, Richard, and well done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the awards done. Thank you, Ilya, for running those for several years now. And thank you for the team that thought their duties were done, but did so well at reading out the nominations and the awards. <laughs> and sadly, that takes us to the end of the conference. So we'll finish up here um, and we'll start shifting you out. But go outside into the fresh air talk to people about I'm sure if, if you chat you're well practiced now in finding somewhere to go for a drink to have dinner um, or maybe some of you are staying and, and can talk and we'll find people sightseeing um, 
if you need help knowing where the stations are or how to get home or anything like that, you can still ask people in red t-shirts. Not me, because I'm not local, so I probably won't help you. But thank you much, ev thank you very much, everyone, and please get out of here. See you next year.